Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. This is Nika, where we talk about everything beauty, lifestyle, and inspiration. Um, today, I'm going to do a highly requested video that I'm getting asked to do, and that is brows. How do I do my brows? How do I achieve my natural brows? So I'm finally about to do this for y'all, okay? Um, y'all see this hair? This is what quarantine has done for me. It's flaky. I need to wash it. My nails, my little press on nails is popping off. It's been on two and a half weeks though, so that's good. But anyways, um, hope you guys can see everything clear. So I'm going to show you two different ways you can achieve your brows. Um, and that is with a pencil or a powder. Um, I prefer a pencil for my own. I don't know. And then I do most of my clients I do with powder. Um, no particular reason why. It's just what I do. Okay. So I'm going to do my left brow with a pencil and my right brow, brow with a powder. Powder. So you'll need a spoolie brush um, and an angled brush to do the powder with. Um, I couldn't find them right now, but I have disposables that you can use too because you want to make sure you wash this if you have a brush because you can get um, an infection in your hair follicle. So that is a thing. So you want to make sure that you wash that part of the brush as well as you wash your other brushes. Um, with the disposables, obviously, you throw it away after each use. Now, I'm not about to jump up, but you want to have a nice sharpened pencil. This is okay. I mean, I just bought it yesterday and used it one time, so it's going to have to be okay. So what I did, I brushed my brows up, and then I lay them hairs the goal is when you're doing your brows is if you can see how I brush the hairs up and there's like sparse areas here. To get a natural brow, you only want to fill in the sparse areas. Another thing, you want to have a nice clean up, a cleaned up brow. Um, it's a lot easier to do your brow when they're clean. So... What I'm going to do is show you here how you're going to find out how your brow mapping is what it's called. Your brow mapping should be. Sorry, that's like glitter on my face. But um, you'll go from your nose right here on the side of your nose and your pencil directly up. And this is where your brow should start. So let me just pencil that more so you can see it. So as you can see, I'm missing some brow hairs in the beginning. Everybody normally is, this is what it is. Um, then you'll go from the end of your nose and tilt your brush. It's normally like the center of your eye too. So tilt your brush, this is where your arch should go. So about right there. Just make it darker for y'all. And then same on the end and your, your end of your eye goes right here so you have the three points as to where your brow should go so now we know where we should map the brow I'm gonna take that pencil and I'm not gonna start in the beginning but I'm gonna start a little bit back and just lightly line my brow So I'm just following its natural shape and I stop it right where that, where I put that line at. So I stop it right there. We do the same thing to the top. And again, I'm not going to the far beginning. I'm going to start it right here and just trace my brow. This brow is my thicker brow and I could have actually um, trimmed it down. And I am touching that, that line that I have up there. And I just bring it down to the point. Boom. Just like that. So what I do is I'll go back through 
and I just brush it up. And I'm more so just brushing out that, that harsh line. And it's not even supposed to be harsh. Um, I wasn't using the lightest hand that I, I normally use. But if that so happens that you, you press too hard, I like to bend my brush. This is actually a straight brush, but I like to bend it. As you can see, it's easier. You can just get right on there and just comb that out. So now what we're going to do is you see there's missing some hairs right there. So I'm going to fill them in like hair-like strokes. This is where you use a light hand. If you go down to the end of your pencil versus right up here, it won't apply too much product. So we're just filling it in so we can have them bomb brows, okay? And I just go upwards in the front because that's where I need some hairs too. So now that we have some product right there, I'm just going to drag it. Okay, I lied. I do... After that, go a little bit. Just a little bit, not all the way to where my pencil pencil is. And then I brush that product out and drag that forward. And you see when I do that, you can see where there is still needing to be some product. If you can see in there how it still looks kind of shabby and forgive me y'all because I normally have my mirror clo oops, closer I normally do st stretch my skin And this is better when it's sharpened, like I said, because it won't look so, what's the word? It looks so um, messy. When it's sharp, it just don't look as bad. So that's the brow there. Now I'm gonna take my concealer. This is from the crayon case. I just squeeze some on the back of my hand. And this is where you'll need a flat brush. Y'all, I apologize for that noise. I got my window open. Now, normally, I just put this product right here. And I won't put it in the beginning. But I... um. I wasn't doing foundation, so I didn't bring my foundation. But I'll put my foundation closer to my brow. Or to the beginning of the brow, so it's not so light. And then I'll just put this lighter color right here. But you just want to sharpen up that line. You can use one shade if you want. Um, so I'm just going to show you here just with one shade. And just clean it up. Let me erase those lines that we had there. See how easy that is? Just to go ahead and take that off. And that is a brow. And then I'll just go back through. Brush them hairs. I like my brows to go up and I'll lay them. So then I'm just going to set it with my brow gel. This is a sweat resistant brow gel from e.l.f. Um, it's really good though. <laughs> I've had others, but this is 
inexpensive and it works. And again, those front hairs, I just bring up like that. And you have a brow. Now, the trick to keeping it looking more natural to me is I'll just, sometimes I won't even clean up the bottom. I'm just doing that for this video's sake. But I won't clean up the bottom or the top. I just leave them. Um, because the natural brow doesn't have a sharp, crisp, line you know because this is my brow you see this mess right <laughs> exactly um okay so this right one i'm gonna show you using the pencil and this powder duo so this has um two shades it has the lighter and the darker so what we're going to do is the same thing we're gonna brush the brow up again there's multiple ways you can do this. You can either brush them up and set them right away or you set them after. I just set them after. So I'm gonna go in with this dark shade and do the same thing. I'm gonna start a little back here. And you use the brush this way. So not this way, but because you wanna have be able to place it and drag that product down the line. Oh, guess what? We didn't do the thing. So that's again here. You do it the same way with your powder. Here. And at the end of your eye. You don't want to bring your brow way down here because that's not that's not where it goes. And you just go in between the the line that you draw. So I don't want to go past it. I just want to go to that line. Do the same thing for the top. Now this top, my uh, right brow, has more hair taken off right here. So I always have to draw extra in. Now, there's another product you can also use is gel, um, cream brow gel. If you don't have the perfect, uh, if you don't have brow powder, you can use uh, eyeshadow. You don't, if you already have that in an eyeshadow palette that's close to your brow shade, you don't have to go out and buy a whole nother product. It's just, it's, it will work just okay. So you still do the soft hair strokes and then I start to bring that up. I'm going to go on with that lighter shade for the front of the brow. Then I just have to draw a little bit, like I said, more up to the top because that brow is kind of missing. So I'm just wiping those lines off. Boom. Now, this, you just flip that brush, the tip, the tip part will go down and then you flick it, the product, product up. This is where I'm missing the hair. If you can see, there's no hair right there. I got my brows. I used to get them threaded and, um, back in, I know it's a long time, but 2016, I got them threaded and she took too much off and they ain't never been the same since then. R.I.P. to my goddamn brows. Anywho. 
And then, now that that brow is on, you can, the amount of time you spend on your brow is definitely a personal preference. You want to spend 30 minutes on your brows? Be my guest. I don't have 30 minutes to spend on a brow, so I do what works for me. I'm just showing you what I do. You tweak it however you see fit for your lifestyle. Even with this cleanups, I don't have five minutes to clean up a brow. I can still get it nice and clean. I don't need to, you know, spend all day on it. That's just me. I'd rather spend that time on my face. Because I love doing the skin, you know. Then you can take a, a fluffy brush and just blend it out. Or your finger. And you see, it's brows. I just want to make sure there's no harshness in the beginning of the brow. And just for the sake of this video, so if you don't want to, you know, you don't want to stop there. You could definitely go above your brow. Some days, it depends on the look that I do. I will clean it up on the top, but I use my foundation. Because this here will give you a halo effect. Well, I'm I'm so light-skinned. I mean, it's pretty much my shade. but And that's that. And they are sisters, not twins. As you can see, this one has more of an arch. So what I can do is go right here and add just a smidget more. I probably just took it off, honestly. I think I did. I took it off when I cleaned up the top. Boom. New brows, who's this? And then we're just going to set this one the same way. All right, you guys, I am back. I wanted to just throw on a quick little face. This is what you call a natural glam. Just face, brows, mascara, and some lip. So, I hope you guys like. Let me know in the comments what you use on your brows. If you're a powder girl, if you're a um, powder, a gel, a pencil girl, let me know. And yeah. Also, like, comment, and subscribe. Come and join me. Um, until next time, you know what it is. You know my motto. Slay and stay beautiful. Bye, babes.